Hello everyone! GG here, also known as Grundy Gamer. We're going to be doing four, count them, four mods today. We're going to have two gun mods and a companion mod plus a quest mod. Woo! Quest mod! Alright, so the first thing I'm going to introduce is our... You did for this town. Shut the fuck up, you... What? What is your problem? How are Anywho. You? As you can see, Not we got bad. a companion mod right here. Sydney. Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Hello. Yes. Hi. People are weird in Megaton. Alright, we gotta go away. So Sydney here is one of the best mods ever. She is originally from the Stealing Independence mission in which you have to actually go and find the in, uh, Declaration of Independence, bring it back to Abraham Washington, and all along she's with you. But this mod allows you to actually take her and bring her with you for the rest of the actual game. Fully voiced and lip synced. She's a hoot and a handbasket all in the same time. Next up we have is this little pretty little picture right here is boom! Look at that. That is a Dan Weston PPC 357 revolver. It also comes with a scope version of it. Very nice, very pretty. And it is also a custom mesh, custom texture with its own sound too. Let's just go over here to this awesome place. <coughs> boom. Very nice. All right, cool. So, then we have finally the other gun, which is this bad boy right here. It is the pepper gun. It actually has two different files, one that actually has a knife attached to the front and one that doesn't. This is the one that doesn't have it. So this one actually is a custom mesh, custom texture as well, and it is basically a sawed off handgun slash shotgun. This bad boy is one hell of a shot. You can also uh, buy it at Seagraves at Rivet City Market. That's where you buy it. So you can't actually get it until you actually get to Rivet City. That's what's the kind of hard part. It's both of these mods, Sydney over here, and this gun, both in Rivet City. Shoot it here. Boom! That'll knock the block right off your face, huh? <laughs> Shoulders too. All right. So finally, we have the quest mod. We got to get this over here. Uh... Ah, there we go. We actually have to go to the bar. I can't remember the name. I'm horrible with names. But it's called the Secret of the Rat Mole Rat Cave. That's what it is. Secret of the Mole Rat Cave. Not me. Jeez, oh, Pete. Secret of the Roll. <laughs> Secret of the Mole Rat Maze. There we go. Whew! Finally got that out. Man, that was one hell of a tongue twister. My god. Alright. Actually, yeah, let's go this way. Screw that shit. Get out of the way, Sydney. Alright. I put this new mod in, which allows you to have, like, this walkway to everything, so it's a lot easier. But it seems to be more confusing now than ever before. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I go this way, possibly I can actually walk around there. Yeah, let's do that. Jump! Parkour. Booyah. So what this is, is basically it's a fully voiced 30 minute quest. And the only way to activate it is to actually go to Moriarty's Saloon. That's what it's called. And talk to Gob or Jenny Staller. Jenny Staller. I think she's in here. I think she's the whore. Ha! Where are you, ha? Nope, that's Nova. Oop, my bad. I don't know who Jenny Staller is. But I know Gob is the one who actually activates this quest. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? No. Anything at all? N no. Well, actually, we need to start this quest, so if you can actually help us find this quest, that would be wonderful. Mm. Ah, fuck, what are you? you have it? Um, nothing against well, you people. Then. Cool. Cool. Alright, where's the quest? Where I need the quest here. There we go. Where does a guy go for an adventure around here? You should go over and meet Ellie Mae. She will point you towards some adventure. <laughs> There's a maze near where she lives that supposedly holds a treasure of some sort. Whoever finds it could be richer than Tenpenny. 
Nice. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gob. Oh, that's 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 pretty good voice acting. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually pretty good. It's hard to make a girl voice like this. It's <laughs> it's just horrible. All right, so uh, tell me about this Ellie Mae. Who is she? She's the most beautiful woman in the waste. She's also very well read, and she's a snappy dresser. Ooh, sounds like you got a thing for her. Where is this place? Show me this maze. It's a short walk to the northeast. Look for a manhole in the middle of the road. That's the entrance. Thanks, Gob. That gave me no direction whatsoever. But at least we got the quest, so goodbye, Gob. Come back soon. Come back soon. Alright, here we go. So find Ellie Mae, the caretaker of the maze. Holly Oopa! Perfect. Cat like reflexes on that one. Alright, jump again. Oh, perfect. I'm like immune or something. Oh, right. Was Sydney here? Oh, God. She has to run all the way around this thing. Oh, there she is. I can see her way up there. Come on, Sydney. Hurry the fuck up. We're leaving. Jeez. This is why I like Pit Butler. Or Jules, as I call him. That's the actual person that goes with this actual uh, shooting range. Where's the... Is this the door? It is. It is the door. I've never actually gone through the door. <laughs> At least she caught up to me by the time. And I love... I love that they have a track marker on this, or whatever they call them, map markers. Because I am god-awful at finding things, as we've seen in the previous videos. And I can't find nothing, no how, not ever. Holy fuck. There's a hole in the sky. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. Jump, 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 boo, boo, boo. No, this is supposed to be a road, apparently. I hope I'm doing the right quest. Oh god. Last time I've done that too, and it's it's not the best. Let's make sure. Yep, secret of the maze. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna try to. And it's not happening. I'm gonna have to go around. I feel like freaking Mario for jumping all this stuff the best way to travel, you know? Jumping. Oh, Pit Butler. Holy hell. Okay, I guess we get to try out these new guns. Let's try it. Couldn't run with me, Rad Scorpion. Oh, fuck! Woo! Almost got me there. Oh, nice. You don't have hands. Jeez, oh, Pete, I've already told you this. Where are you? You're supposed to be in the middle of a road. I don't see you at all. I see a house. Maybe a house? There's supposed to be a road? Road? No roads. On the road again. Oh, oh, yep. <laughs> Ellie's maze. Alright, what the? Okay. Fuck it. And of course, Sydney is nowhere to be found. How is she supposed to partake in this wonderful event? <laughs> Welcome to Ellie's Maze! 100 gaps! Oh, caps. <laughs> 100 gaps. There's a ton of holes here and a ton of radiation, apparently. Is this nav meshed? It is. Cool. Perfect. Alright. Oh, you're a ghoul. You now have radiation poisoning. Oh, good. I'm so glad that that happened. Fine day we're having. Welcome to Ellie's Maze. You are the first customer that I have seen in a while. She's a smoker. She's a very heavy smoker. And I love that this clicks. I can take as much time as I want to read this. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> as I say that, it completely skips over it. That shouldn't stop the season, treasure hunter. Okay. Fine. Don't let me read. Hello. Fancy meeting a pretty young ghoul in a dirty old place like this. I haven't heard a line like that in a long time. You got send you? Never mind. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a little adventure. Any ideas? You've come to the right place. I have the key to the maze. Megatunners have a legend that there is a treasure down there. Ooh. 100 caps is the price for admission. So it's... You get a free key with the deal. That doesn't even make sense. I'm supposed to give you 100 caps and you're supposed to give me a free key. Isn't it 100 bucks for a key? But alright, alright, since I'm Mr. Moneybags here... Daddy Warbucks in this shit. I haven't had many customers lately. 
If you find out what's been eating my customers down there, I will make it worth your while. Eating your customers? Is there anything else I should know? Uh, let's just... First of all, there are more and more rats down there than you can shake a stick at. And second, there's some fungus down there that the smooth skins don't take well to. And third, people haven't exactly been coming back much lately. <laughs> well, I already have rat poisoning just for sitting in this little dump over here. Uh, I really want to hear all the the voice acting, but... All right, it is fine, not really it. so much a legend to me. I was here. 35 years ago, 35 two vault years. came to You don't look it, lady. It was the year that Vaults 101 and 111 opened for the first time. Vault 111 sent a science team out here to explore the maze. They were flush with caps that, that they had that acquired from number. selling Vault technology in Megaton. This is meant to be. And they never came back from the maze. <gasps> They never came back. I assume they perished below in the maze. Oh, they don't you, go down you know, there they didn't come back. They must have died. Or no, no, they're just here. living down there. Don't worry about Although, it. Although, I do miss all the lovely radiation. I know, it's supposed to give you, like, powers, isn't it? It's supposed to make you glow or go crazy well, or something like that. Well, aren't you a sweetheart? As a matter of fact, I left my hat down in the maze just before people started disappearing. Where did you leave the hat? Uh, did you... <laughs> You know, I could find it for you. Well, I was napping down there one day many years ago on a bed of brain fungus, and I must have left it. You know, Since the mole rats started reproducing so much down there, I haven't been able to get back. Mole rats ain't nothing for me, sweet cheeks. Or lack of sweet cheeks. Do you have anything that could help me with this radiation? Sure. Take a look. Oh, I have to buy it from you. I see. I'm going to buy all your rat away. As soon as possible, some stim packs, some rad X, and some mad X. I'm just gonna empty you out. Like I said, Daddy Warbucks. All right. It is a little yeah, hot here. It feels so good. It's like living in the womb. Well, that's <laughs> okay. That was a little odd. Um, this is afraid so. I usually recommend spooze skins wear a suit down there. The maze has quite a bit of radioactivity. But, 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 but you don't have, have a pleasant one. day. You don't have a red suit. How the hell am I supposed to survive down there? I've already got freaking poisoning. All right, let's just try this here. Let's see if we've got a red suit in here. I can just, you know, yoink. God damn it. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. Come on, come on. Daddy wants a new pair of red suit shoes or whatever. I'm out of picks! Fuck. Alright. Well, let me just scooch by you here. Not a single pair of rad suit, 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 suit. Should I get one? Should I. Fine should day I, we're having. Should I even try? Do you not give me a rad suit? How am I supposed to live down here? I'm getting a hot one. Alright then, I guess that's part of the challenge. So I'm just gonna equip some aid when some rat away I have <laughs> I guess rad X too I'll just put it on my hot bar mm, what do I not need I don't need grenades no this one there we go all right nothing nothing that actually gives me you know not nothing nothing whatsoever Sydney's radio Yes, that's also another thing you get. You get Sydney's radio, so just in case she goes missing, you can actually, you know, summon her back. Pretty cool stuff, what can I tell ya? Alright. The fuck's going on here? Have a pleasant- You too, lady. Thanks for not giving me a rad suit. 